Hello and welcome to my basic guide for OneDrive. OneDrive is a cloud-based storage solution that allows you to access your files from anywhere. To get started, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free right here. I have one, so I'm going to sign in to my account. That's going to open up your Outlook, where you will have access to your emails. But to get to the OneDrive application, if you go up to the top left hand corner, you will see nine dots. This is called the App Launcher. If you drop that down, you should see OneDrive in this section here. As you can see, I can see it here. But if you don't, you can click All Apps. You can scroll down until you find OneDrive and you can open it up. The next thing I'm going to get you to do is select My Files. And now we can start creating folders and uploading files to our OneDrive cloud storage. The first thing that we're going to do, and I recommend everybody do this right at the start so you keep everything organized, is select new folder and create a folder for each of your documents to keep everything nice and organized. You will thank me in the future for when you're looking for that file that you haven't used in ages and it's there, easily accessible and easy to find. I'm going to create a folder called Career Preparation and I'm going to hit Create. As you can see, it's created a folder called Career Preparation. If I go to the top of the page and click Upload, you can select Upload Files or you can select Upload Full Folders. I have a file on my computer to upload as an example, so I'm going to click Files. It's going to give me access to my PC. So you want to go and search for the files that you want to upload. If I go to pictures, I have a career preparation folder and this is the file that I want to upload. You're going to select that file and then click open. Up in the top right hand corner you will see it uploading and because it's a very small file it uploads straight away. That's how handy OneDrive is. Now I have access to this file, wherever I go, no matter what computer I'm at, I can log into my Office 365 account and I have access to this file. If I want to share that file with somebody, I can click the share button right here. And that will allow me to share it with anyone within the organization. If you have a personal account, you can share with anybody that has a personal account too. But because this is part of an organization, I can only share files within the organization as a security measure. So I'm going to select myself and there's a couple of options that we have here. If I click this drop down here, I can allow the person that I'm sharing it with to edit the document or I can just allow them to view. So you can use this in a wide variety of ways. If you're collaborating on a document with one other person or a team, you would share the document so they can edit with your team and then any changes that they make, it will affect your file in your drive. So I'm going to select can edit. Right here, you can also write a little message. Please see new document for career preparation. Hit send and now I have shared that file with myself but like I said you can share it with anybody and it is a really powerful way to share files and collaborate on different projects or documents. Guys if there's any questions you have at all and maybe you want me to dive a little bit deeper on backing up your computer with OneDrive or uploading larger files please let me know down below. This is my first video on my new YouTube channel, Future Bound Education. I'm going to be creating content like this that will guide you through this amazing world of technology that we have at our fingertips. So please hit the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It would be amazing to get even 10 subscribers by the end of the week. And we'll talk to you very, very soon.